betrayed me. In the dark, waiting to come out. Don't you open that trap door? Render for the Okay, so as this one says, this is my red trapdoor spider. And this one here is a confirmed female and she's fully mature. Had this for quite a while now, so I think a couple of years. And what I'm gonna do is just change the enclosure so it needs a clean up. But you can see it's got deep enough substrate there, a good um, seven to eight inches. And I'm just gonna put it in a slightly smaller but plastic one because she doesn't need this size enclosure. I've put um, a small hole there, but the reason I'm doing it is purely because normally you shouldn't be able to do this. This is the trap door and I'm more than comfortable putting my fingers in and showing you she is down in there. But the reason is, is she doesn't really come out of here at all. All she comes out of here for is to defecate on the roof of the enclosure and to molt, which she molted out right over here and then went back down in. But the last couple of times I've put prey items in here, they literally um, trigger the trip wires, then she'll come up and grab it and go down. And I've managed to get one footage of her eating, which is an old one I had on the channel. So I'll quickly put that up here so you can see. And as you're watching that as well, I carry on talking. But literally since then, when I put some prey items in here, they have fell down through the trapdoor. And I've noticed that she then eats it within that day and it's gone and she leaves it down at the bottom. And I have had other species do this and they leave the actual uh, bulbous or the little remains of the prey item in the bottom. And they actually start to get mouldy and stuff like that as well. So she's not discarding anything up here. So I want to clean it out and also remove that chance of getting mold and everything in there but the other thing is she's not hunting like you can see there's one little bolus there so she is chucking stuff up but she leaves more of it down in there but she normally had the trip wires out across here but since prey items have been falling in there she stopped and is only staying in there she's not coming out doing a normal trapdoor so by destroying this which I have done before to change, it will stress them out slightly, but I think it took her about a week to two weeks to redo another one. So I'm hoping that she'll do one in here and then reset the trap lines and then I can get back to normal um, feeding her how she would do instead of just putting it in there and it falls down and crawls in there. So she is moving around in there. So I'll just give you a good look at her and let's get her rehoused. Excuse me, so as you can see, I've just removed some of the dirt she is that is the trap door right here and she's just in this portion here so i'm going to try and see if i can get her out i'm just going to put this on the, the side okay, yeah. let me just check that she's not at the top no she's still in the bottom right the only reason i'm doing it this way is so i can actually show you the spider as well so she's inside there i'm going to pull this apart and remove this out of the way okay so i don't know how fast she'll be normally she will stay still but obviously now this is the chamber and i will try and what i'm going to do is obviously i know this would take a bit of time for her to make another one so i'm going to try and wait to show you that and then show you the outcome to show you that she's actually fine and okay. But I'm just gonna slowly, cause she is here, but she can actually come out of there. Do you wanna go see if you can see her? Kind of. I mean, obviously this is going to mm -hmm. stress her out slightly, but I want to show you her. I've had her for a few years. Nearly there. 
See, in these enclosures that I put the trapdoor spiders in, I don't actually put any springtails or anything in there because they're actually quite clean. They projectile their poop on the top of their enclosure and normally they bring out the prey, the remains of the prey item and put it in one corner, but I think I can see bits here already. So let's just clear some of this. Oh, I can feel it there. Let's just move her back, just in case she runs. Start pulling this apart. Right, I know she's here because I can see movement. But I need to ideally. In fact, what I'm going to do. Clean up fodder out. No, no, no. Because I don't want to. I don't know how fast she'll be. Last time she was quite still, but I don't want to. I just want to show you her. So if I cut. Can you see? Yeah. And you can see the silk it's chamber. It's amazing. It's genius. Yeah. She As I get closer, yeah, she might come darting out. Nope, I can see her there. Her fangs are right there. Sweetheart. Right, because these can be ex defensive. She'll be really scared. I found she? that, yes, she is um, really calm only because I leave them alone. Is she like plain dead? Oh. No. Um, we're just like webbing. Look at the sheet. It's amazing. It is. It's almost a carpet. Yeah. All right. I'm going to see if I can get her to move. But if I do it so she's going this way, um, she shouldn't run too far. But I just want to see if we can get her. You're safe. <laughs> Don't be if scared. I turn her this way. I think someone's just destroyed my home. She's got a great sized butt. She's not hungry. Okay. Oh, she's solid. See, so she can be quick. If I do this and just push that up, she shouldn't run over it. I don't know, I want to open her up so you can see her, but also I don't want to stress her out because I can use this to put her into the new enclosure. Yeah. So. No, I just, do you want to zoom in on there? And... Mm -hmm. You see you the difference see in colour because they live underground. Her legs are so hard, like to the touch. Yeah, they I look like jelly. See, yeah, they do. I just wanted to see, but she can be very fast. Mm -hmm. So I have seen her move quite fast, but only for a short spurt, spurt sorry. But then um, she normally raises up and then will show her fangs and she'll sort of almost, like a Sydney funnel web, mm -hmm. bend herself over slightly and just show her fangs. Mm -hmm. But because I literally leave her alone and just feed her, she's um, quite placid. But she molted a couple of months ago and her abdomen is looking a lot smaller. Her abdomen was normally the size of the whole body itself. So that's why I'm putting her in the new enclosure to see if she does a trap wires and then we does a silken chamber and then uh, put her back into a normal state instead of just sitting there waiting for food to fall in. Oh, bless her. <coughs> Sorry, girl. All right, so if I do that. Let me see. Mm -hmm. I don't want her to fall off. Oh, yeah. So what we should have is her walk straight into the temporary hole. If 
Thanks for that. <laughs> nope. Mm. Playing dead? No, I'm not moving anywhere. Come on, girl. Got some work to do today now. Because I can see our fangs from here. They've got really big, like, pillars around them. <laughs> Come on. She doesn't go anywhere. She can literally hang on it. Let's see, she's trying to keep hold of her webbing. Come on, come on. Here you go, here you go, come on. Come on. I'm going to have to pump you upside down to get you to go in. She's got a hell of a grip of her feet yeah. on the webbing. The very first time I did this, she went so aggressive. Like defensive, sorry, but this time, oh. <laughs> whoa, there you go, <laughs> there you go. She's opening up, she's getting annoyed, rightfully so. Come on, give everybody a good look. Oh, she can't climb the plastic, that's good. There you go, get a good close up. Do you want me to get a close up? Yeah, you're good at those. So there we have her guys, my red trapdoor spider, adult female. I mean, if anybody's got a male of these in the UK, please do comment below, get in touch with me. And uh, I would love to try and pair this and have a sack. If anyone knows where anyone's selling any of these, please do comment below because I've not seen any of these in an absolute while since I bought her. So I am in the lookout for a male, but I think You'll agree that is absolutely beautiful and I only see this one once a year mm. when I do some maintenance on the enclosure but this is going to be interesting to see a slightly smaller enclosure but I've done that for a, a purpose just she doesn't need that much substrate um, doesn't need that much humidity in the soil because I leave it in the water dish and overspray one corner and that's absolutely fine because I found that when I put humidity in the last time uh, with water and the substrate she made a hole in the substrate without any humidity in it so any water so i've just soaked it a little bit it's not drenched but uh, this will dry out and it would be easy for her to dig but i'm hoping that you will see this is the end of this part of the video but i'm hoping that give it a week i can film more and show you what she's actually done if she's made a, a trap door and then we'll go from there so yep hopefully we'll just uh, see you in a bit okay so this is two weeks later and on the left there that is where the hole originally was she's filled that in and moved the water dish you can see the earth she's pulled up in the middle but she's used the other corner so she's changed it all over you can see webbing on the actual tub and on the actual hole she started to web up to start her little burrow I don't know why she liked that other corner, so she's gone into this one here. So this is more of the drier corner, so they do prefer it a bit more drier. Uh, whether that's an impact of how the substrate bonds together. But you can see the fresh dry substrate there, so she's digging and moving it around. But she completely covered over the hole um, that I originally made, so she wasn't happy with that. So hopefully I can give a future update and she does her actual hatch and thanks very much for watching guys i will see you on the next video but i think you'll agree she is very very beautiful